Are you ready to have your mind just blown by a great Instagram content? I mean, quality, top-notch, cream of the crop Instagram content. I sure hope so, because uh, shit's about to get real. Hello my friend and welcome to my channel, the place where we don't take life too seriously because none of us are getting out alive anyway. True that. And today I want to introduce you to an Instagram account that uh, it's got me feeling some type of way. Probably not the type of way they want me to feel, but uh, meet Troom Troom. Now, I originally found out about them when one of my favorite YouTubers, Danny Gonzalez, he did a video about them and uh, I kind of forgot about them for a while until recently when I discovered their Instagram account, which is basically like a nutshell version of their YouTube channel. I'm honestly not sure what shocked me more about this account, their content, or the fact that over 1.4 million people follow their page for this said content. So without further ado, a Lego. Bruh. Can we all just take a moment and think about how stupid Troom Troom thinks your friends are? Like, is that a fine looking burger made from sugar paste? Sure. Is that a realistically looking burger that someone would look at and be like, mmm, that looks exactly like a hamburger? Maybe, if you're two years old. And also, this is just a stupid prank. Like, usually pranks are to fool people into doing something funny, but I don't really get the funny side of this prank. I mean, if you really think about it, you're taking something edible and replacing it with something else that's edible, and the worst that could happen is they get a sugar rush. Great prank, guys. You're truly the original prankster. Original prankster. Okay, first of all, just Nia. Sisman. Gross. Ugh. For argument's sake, let's say you do this prank. You take what looks like, and I can only assume is, raw bacon, cut it up to be a piece of bubble gum, and then put it in a wrapper so that you can offer it to your friend. Now, chances are you're not going to be able to offer that to your friend immediately, okay? That means that raw piece of bacon is going to chill in that packet, harboring all sorts of bacteria, and then you offer it to your friend and possibly kill them by poisoning them with salmonella. And then you go ahead and eat it yourself as well. Like, who are you even? But anyway, if you thought those pranks were ridiculous... <laughs> hmm. Okay, just quickly before we go on, I just love the music that they've got going on in these videos. You actually hear the song in quite a few of their videos. It's like Charlie's Angels meet Rated R Movies. Now, my first thought, other than what the actual, f is this teacher needs Xanax, like, ASAP. Seriously, someone needs to help her, okay? Secondly, for someone who needs to be educating students, she's really thick. Like, who is stupid enough to fall for this prank? Have you ever, in your entire life, come across a spider this big with what looks like a race number on its back? No, me neither. So why are you scared of them? Don't even get me started on the big spider. If you get scared of a spider teddy bear, you need help, professional help, or Xanax. Now on to another one.
seriously, what's up with these teachers though? The other one was like five seconds away from a panic attack, and this one, she's about five seconds away from killing all of the students. Seriously, someone needs to keep an eye on her. Just saying. When will this ever happen? I mean, don't you just hate it when you're so busy studying and working hard that you don't even realize that your teacher is taking fishing line and wrapping it all around your pen and your friends? Ah, if it's not our favorite, I'm about to pop an artery teacher. What will the students do to her this time? Can I just be that person and uh, bring up the fact that maybe, just maybe, if the teacher and the students spent all their energy and focus and attention that they do on these pranks into actually working, you wouldn't have 20 something year old students still hanging around in what appears to be primary school. <clears throat> just putting it out there, do with it what you want. But wait, there's more. They've also got more recent videos where they show you how to bully, I mean prank, your grandmother. Ah uh, yes, nothing is quite as funny as uh, messing around with your grandmother's medication and possibly killing her. But if you do manage not to hurt your grandmother's health with that little prank over there, Trum Trum, they've got more tricks up their sleeves that will really help you bring down your grandmother, quite literally. Okay, fine, I'll, I'll give credit where credit is due. The blue hair and the fake tattoos, fine, Trum Trum. I'll give you that one, you can have it. I'll let that one slide. But uh, putting sand underneath your grandmother's slippers, as someone who's had a fair share of slipper slips, <laughs> that's a bit of a tongue twister. Anyway, it really is dangerous. I mean, not, e not even that long ago, like I nearly broke my neck falling off a flight of stairs because of my slippers. And now you're gonna go ahead and put sand underneath your grandmother's slippers so that she really has a bigger chance of slipping and breaking a hip. How much do you have to dislike your grandmother to play this prank on her? Like who watches this video and is like, ooh, granny, I can't wait to show you who's boss and possibly kill you in the process. Well, apparently over 82,000 people. Where has this world gone to? Nobody knows. But that brings me to the end of this video. First of all, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. I really appreciate every single one of you. If you're not part of my YouTube family just yet, don't forget to give me some a T L S C comment, a like, and subscribe. It's a silent T. Don't ask. And I might give you a shout out in my next video. Also, hit me up on social media. Links in the description below. But now for this week's shout out. I want to give some love today to Lynn. But thanks for becoming part of my YouTube family. Stay awesome. And remember that people often say that motivation doesn't last. But um, neither does bathing. That is why it's recommended daily. Ciao.